everybody, Dave Mosher here, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com, the Discovery Channel's website all about space, and this is your weekly wrap-up and preview from my apartment in New York City, which is, by the way, probably smaller than most people's walk-in closet. Uh, that being said, let's get to your wrap-up. First thing I want to show you guys is a little NASA soap opera drama that's going on right now, and let's introduce your characters. This is the Constellation, actually part of the Constellation program. This is actually the Ares-1 rocket. It's supposed to bring people back to the moon by 2020. This is Dr. Michael Griffin, who is the NASA administrator. This is Lori Garver, who is on Barack Obama's transition team to poke around NASA to figure out what's going on. And this is the president-elect himself, Barack Obama. So what's going on here is this guy really likes this program. And she is poking around it and is not so sure that is the best program for NASA. And neither is this guy. So he's not very happy about it. Uh, Dr. Griffin has been caught in public kind of grumbling about the situation. Um, the lots of unnamed sources in these and these stories that have been coming out, it's really actually interesting, I think, because he could lose his job to her in the long run, and she's actually being the agency. So keep an eye on that story. It should be interesting as it develops. And next thing I want to tell you guys about is this. This is a really cool artist rendition of the exoplanet HD 189733B. And yes, I read that off a cue card because I could not memorize that. Anyway, this planet has some really interesting stuff going on. They actually detected it, I think, late last year or early this year, but they've seen water, they've seen carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide in its atmosphere because it's so close to the sun. It has an orbit of 2.2 days, which is ridiculous if you think about our, the orbit of our planet around the sun, which is 365 days. So this planet is about the size of Jupiter and is 15, sorry, 1,550 degrees Fahrenheit. So no chance for life there, I don't think, but the cool thing is that all the stuff that is existing on this planet might be in rocky planets around the same star, uh, which are very difficult to detect, to detect. And, you know, it speaks in tomes about the uh, other star systems. So, anyway, pretty cool to watch that, and we'll see what happens. Also, Friday night. If you guys did not go out last Friday night and look up at this, you're really missing out. It was 14% larger and 30% brighter than it normally is, thanks to an elliptical orbit. Uh, the stars aligned, so to speak, and the moon was really big and bright and pretty. So if you missed it, I'm sorry. Uh, it's too late for that now. The last thing I want to tell you guys about is this. This is Space Shuttle Endeavour strapped to a 747 piggybacking across the country from uh, Edwards Air Force Base in California to Florida. It took almost two weeks, which is almost the same time it took the actual space mission to do. Uh, and that's because NASA said there was a weather problem, they scrambled it to land in California, and our blogger Irene Klotz, who runs the blog Free Space, had a really interesting post up. You should check it out if you're on the uh, Discovery Space blog. I have a link to it down there. If you're on YouTube, look to your right. You should see a more info button. Sorry, that's your right. Uh, click that. It should take you right to my blog where you can find the link. At any rate, uh, she put up this post, and John Shannon, NASA's deputy shuttle manager, responded to it. So it's pretty interesting what he says, so check it out. So that was your wrap up, and here is your preview. Today I've got a video up for you guys, three questions about the sun. I sat down with an astrophysicist and asked him three of my burning questions, pun intended. So be sure and watch that. Tomorrow is a big day, tons of stuff for you guys about dark energy. I can't tell you any more than that because it's a total secret, so you will have to check the site, space.discovery.com. Uh, thanks so much for joining me, and hope to see you there.